What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be taking a look at two of the newest legendary fighters in Age of Apes. Guys, before we jump into it, really exciting news. I do have an invitation code. The code is OmniArk. Link will be in the description below to use my invitation code for Age of Apes and you will get 1000 CDs for free. That's the premium currency in this game. All you have to do is click the link down below. All the instructions will be in the description and potentially in a pinned comment as well. I believe there's a limit for the number of people who can actually redeem that code. So make sure you do it quick before everyone else takes it. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at two new legendary fighters that were implemented into Age of Apes recently. We have our boy here, Duke Sean. This guy looks absolutely insane. He's got his like his, his AK-47 has a mohawk i have no idea what's going on there and we have electro jack over here these are both legendary fighters super cool that we are able to summon both of them it looks like duke focuses on the shooter units with skill damage and we have electro jack focuses on the hitter units with the speed tree which is really interesting let's take a look at duke first okay we're gonna go ahead and summon him on this account 5400 power now quick reminder anytime that you initially summon a legendary you will get a bundle that pops called legendary star up it is ten dollars ten us dollars and you do get five premium tickets two universal golden medals so you can use that on any of the fighters any of the legendary fighters uh, and you also get some experience some iron some CDs things like that so this is a pretty cool bundle I wonder what happens if I don't buy this bundle and then I go ahead and I summon the other legendary is it gonna pop the bundle again or are we gonna be able to get two of the bundle no it looks like only one of them so if this is a bundle that you're interested in make sure that you buy it and then you summon another legendary i don't know how many how often you're gonna have two legendaries ready to summon at the same time but still so if we take a look here it looks like you normally can get duke from the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune comes around every once in a while duke will be one of those legendaries that shows up there on that wheel if we take a look over here at electro jack uh he is actually the same thing as well so you get him from the wheel of fortune too so make sure you keep an eye out for that i know roni ja is also a wheel of fortune legendary i'm surprised one of these wasn't for the ultimate monkey event but it is what it is it looks like they're both wheel of fortune so that's really exciting let's take a look at duke's skills first of all his model looks absolutely sick he's got this really awesome bone necklace here and he has a dog the dog has a name let's go ahead and find out here it says if there's one thing on this planet he does trust it's his pet robot dog buddy quite the companion he looks like something out of like a ratchet and clank or like a, a crash bandicoot type of game really really cool love the design of this guy let's take a look at his skills his first skill is his active skill with a rage requirement of a thousand it says sean summons his robot dog buddy and bites the enemy dealing first damage factor of 800 and continuous damage of 400 for two seconds so we're gonna look at the animation for this because i feel like hopefully we get to actually see like buddy jump in and attack i think that would be really cool um but this is a really high single target damage factor obviously it is over the course of uh, i guess technically three turns but 1600 damage factor really really nice let's take a look at his second skill his second skill is called firepower of the wild shooters led by this fighter gain 25 percent increased health when the number of troops led by this fighter is less than 50 percent there's a 20 percent chance to gain 30 percent increased skill damage for the next three seconds so that's really really powerful i'm wondering if that only applies to his active skill damage here or if it also applies to his continuous damage factor i'd be curious to know obviously that's a really big skill damage buff but it does happen under that 50 percent mark so typically that's the danger zone usually you don't really want to be out fighting with that low of a health but you do get this nice buff if you do happen to get caught in the open field his third skill is called shining distraction shooters led by this fighter gain 20 percent increased defense after using a skill there's a 50 percent challenge chance to deal bonus damage of a damage factor of 500 and to prevent enemies from releasing active skills for two seconds so super powerful we are adding on top of the skill damage that we did here in, with that primary skill 50% chance of turning that 1600 damage factor into 2100 damage factor plus if you're under 50% you get that skill damage bonus which is really really good and 20% defense and 25% health on his second skill we're looking at 45% of stats on this commander already which is super super powerful let's look at his final skill his final skill is called brothers in arms it says when troops led by this fighter consist of only shooters they gain 20% attack so we're looking at 65% of stats for your shooters 
absolutely crazy in addition there's a 20 percent chance to restore 200 rage and gain 30 percent attack boost for three seconds totally nuts one in five turns you're gonna get 200 rage which is a fifth of your active skill and you're getting 30 percent more attack we're talking about 95 percent of stats potentially which is absolutely wild and you're going to be using those active skills more often because this is a rage engine which means his active skill goes off more often which means he has the chance of dealing that additional factor even more often so duke sean seems like one of the most powerful fighters in the game honestly because if we take a look at uh one of the other shooters in the game let's take a look at luis armstrong uh he's also a legendary shooter commander with the skill tree exact same trees right his damage factor is half of of what dukes is and he does some healing which is nice and then if we take a look at some of his other skills here he has a 10 percent chance of having some other effects take off which you know duke has that 20 percent chance which is which is twice as good obviously you're doing some debuffing which duke doesn't do but if you take a look at his third and fourth skills we see 30 percent of stats here and then if we look at this one it says below 50 percent you also get uh, another 30 percent of stats here so duke has the same two trees now his talent skills are a little bit different but he has way more more stats for shooters and again that's comparing it to another legendary so duke seems really really good probably somebody that you want to at least summon when he comes around that wheel of fortune all right let's go ahead and send duke out here and see if we can see his active skill look at him right there waddling across the battlefield he's got his uh ak-47 aiming down sights just dealing crazy damage here are we gonna be able to get an active skill off before this mutant monkey dies let's see i don't think so potentially maybe is it gonna happen there it is his active skill goes off and you see all the bite marks you see his dog buddy go in there and do absolute work now let's see that one more time i just want to get a better look here you can see his dog buddy on the side and he sends him out to the battlefield you see all the bite marks happen and then it looks like he appears right back at duke's side so really cool animation there all right now let's take a look at electro jack and just look at this animation dude he just he goes super saiyan like he looks so sick i love the electric claws that he has on here definitely a hitter commander he looks like he's going insane with that uh that light bulb on his on his head but anyway his active skill is called electric claw it has a rage requirement of a thousand and it says jack strikes the enemy with electric shock waves dealing damage with a damage factor of 1200 and reduces the enemy march speed for the next five seconds by 30 percent so you're really slowing them down this is going to be a really powerful debuff if you're in a game mode such as the astral coliseum so it's going to be really really cool to see how he works his second skill is called electro shock therapy hitters led by this fighter gain 15 percent increased health when the number of troops led by this fighter is less than 50 percent normal attacks taken is reduced by 10 percent so that's actually pretty nice when you do get caught in the open field you're below that 50 percent you start to take less damage which is what you want when you're that low on health his third skill is called side effects which says hitters gain 15 percent increased defense and all troops led by this fighter take 15 percent reduced damage skill damage that's really cool another debuff here this is going to be more of a tanky commander it seems you're going to be able to catch people in the open field slow them down if you get low on health you'll take less damage you'll take less skill damage as well which is really really nice and finally his last skill is called shock weapons hitters led by this fighter gain 20 percent increased attack in addition whenever troops led by this fighter release a normal attack there's a 10 percent chance to gain 30 percent increased skill damage and reduce uh enemy march speed by 50 percent for three seconds so there's the chance that you get 30 percent increased skill damage for this active skill if they do pop off around the same time which is really good we have a 1200 damage factor here which is um it, it could be a little bit higher obviously we've seen other legendaries with higher um duke obviously is, has more as well um, but he does have that, that debuff and you are going to be able to buff it uh, occasionally with this skill as well now i do want to point out if you do put some points in the balanced tree he does take 10 percent less damage from enemies that he slows so that's a really interesting combo that you could do obviously with his primary skill and the 10 percent chance of slowing them with his fourth skill is it worth investing in the balanced tree though instead of the hitter tree i'm not really sure but we will have to test that out across all of his skills we're seeing a 50 percent increase in stats for hitters which is crazy considering he also has the damage factor and debuffs and things like that if we take a look at another legendary hitter fighter roni jaw we see he also has some single target damage factor but he only gets 35 percent increased stats for hitters now you really are going to be using him for defending structures and things like that but still he has 35 percent of stats whereas electro jack gets 
50. So I don't know. That seems like a big difference to me. Now, obviously you could pair these commanders together. Same thing with Duke. You could always pair him with Luis Armstrong as well. There's going to be that synergy there with the same troop type bonuses. All right, let's see Electro Jack's active skill. There he is on the front lines with his Electro Claws going out there. So when he attacks, you actually can see the electricity on him, which is actually really, really cool. That's a nice little touch that they added in there. And we see his rage bar goes all the way up and boom so a huge like electric explosion now, i'm wondering if that's actually an aoe skill because it says shock waves and it does show a small circle on the ground let's zoom out a little bit to see if we can get a better idea it actually doesn't look like it is aoe because if we take a look at mike's aoe who does damage in a circular area which would have been cool if electro jack did that as well maybe a little bit too powerful because of that debuff uh, but we do see, um, you see that circle out on the battlefield here. So I don't know, maybe Electro Jack is AOE. He's just got a much smaller circle. Given the fact that there's only one other legendary of the same troop type as both Duke and Electro, it seems like both of these are probably going to be like the best in class for right now. So like I said, if you can, you probably want to at least summon them. Cause to me, it seems like they give a lot more stats, which is really, really nuts. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel. If you new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an age of apes video comment down below if you have any questions about these brand new legendary fighters in the game or if there's anything else that you want to see about age of apes let me know in the comment section below as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord uh, twitch everywhere else it's all in the description and finally like i said there is a link in the description below to download age of apes absolutely for free make sure you use that invitation code like i said it's only available for a couple of people so follow the link in the description to make sure you redeem that to your account as soon as possible with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace